They double threaded me! They double threaded me! Hey guys, Katsuma Gaming here. We're currently live on Twitch, so if you don't want to miss out live events like that, join my Discord or follow me on Twitch. Or on YouTube as well, because I stream on YouTube as well. But um, we're here to do the last two dungeons that are missing. Uh, I think this time I want to do a little bit more introduction and stuff like that and explain stuff. Um, here you can see the current characters I'm bringing with me. You don't need all of them. You will see which characters I'm using. But the idea is to use Aqua, Cielo and Darkness on the first stage for most survivability. Hopefully get one Darkness ulti off before another unit faints, because then you're pretty much good to go. Um, then like uh, use Union or Kazuma for more damage. Use Einzu Gun for the dark stages. Could probably also use another good dark unit, for example, a Wiz or something like that. Could also really work well, especially with the basics to heal up. And for the last stage, uh, I probably just bring in Dark Leah or something like that. There are good teams to full auto this dungeon. Um, I also want to try to full auto this dungeon here. So if, if you have a good enough equipment, good enough uh, investment in different characters, you should be able to copy that. If not, just play manually, play it safe. As I said before, like wait out cooldowns. Finish the mobs with basic with two turns ready, then you can just spam all the next wave and stuff like that. There are dungeon videos out enough talking about it, but let's get right into it and hopefully beat it this time without lacking on damage on the last stage because that totally did not happen to me. And yes, the one star does, of course, really, really good and will be our hard carry by putting him in slot 5. So, no, he's not really good. He's just there for memes, okay? Don't cope here. Uh, for the first stage, I actually go with Magic Attack here because Cielo is the only on element unit, so she will do the most damage. Aqua's ulti is also Magic Attack, so you just create um, a little bit less Aqua damage versus more Cielo damage. And Darkness is whatever because Darkness doesn't hit anyway. By the way, let's turn on here uh, the assist so we have the heal if needed. They double threaded me! Okay, let's do this again. Okay, I was able to assist here at first to wait a little bit before uh, until the yellow actually used to heal. And now I can actually enable it in case something like that happened. That triple focus on the yellow is rude though. Okay, that's... We're done. We're safe. We're safe. They shouldn't hit Cielo now. Now we get the damage reduction and the bonus heal. So hopefully Darkness shouldn't... Die now? Totally not close. That's actually a pretty decent finish for the wave. I tell you, four seconds spare. Wanna shout out? If you didn't know it already, guys, we have two new mods in the unofficial Discord, uh, both Panic and Sura. So if you have any questions, feel free to spam them, and 
ask some questions. <laughs> So now that Aqua has actually a full ulti, we can swap these out. Swap the physical attack because now we have more damage and we should be good to go. I'm gonna take Simsuit Lee up as fast as up as Aqua. I want for sure Simsuit uh, Lee is enough survivability here. Also, Simsuit Lee has a little bit older unit, so especially like newer players probably don't have her. Meanwhile, fast units you can pretty much grab them every three months or so. So I'm feeling more comfortable with um, using them. She slows plus heals. I mean, if you play manually, she works pretty well, I assume, but I don't know how well she works with full auto. I'm doing this full auto, all the way, from start to finish. Hmm. Don't need recovery. Uh, I hopefully don't fall below 50% HP, so speed is always nice. More attacks, more damage is always welcome. So for this stage, we bring in Ein Sugan, our dark unit. Uh, we also bring in Melissa, you know, why not, for backup. In case something happens, and since now Ainz is our main DPS, we switch again to magic attack damage. Yeah, we had it before, our like speed. Gotta go fast as superhero girls are reset. By the way, here comes the most annoying part. Because Aqua Old always heals Ainsley Gun, you have some small like delay slack when the heal triggers in sometimes. Oh, did I fix it? Right now it feels a little bit faster than normally. <laughs> Ainz refuses to use his ult for two enemies, now he uses them one. Ainz, please. Fast for create water, but slow for normal heals. Oh, okay, that explains it. Still annoying that it's sometimes slow with Aqua Basics. Okay, here we have three bad potions we don't want, so we just use our free redraw. Keep in mind, you can do one redraw without any quads, which is really usable. For example, here 20% damage reduction or 10% super gauge full rate is like really, really good here. Uh. Since we have some damage reduction already, I go with Super Gotch. I feel like spamming more ultis on some characters might be more valuable here. And... Next round! I think this is Chamber 4 already. This can end really bad, by the way. Yeah, you saw the slow, yeah. Okay, you hit darkness. Okay, we good, we good. Well, it's just like if they focus down hard on Aqua before she gets damage reduction, this could potentially be bad. Yeah, you see how low our cars already. Oh. 
There we go. So now comes the last chamber, and here's by the way where my last run actually died. Uh, by the way, since this is the last chamber. You can also, by the way, see this with like, um, going here, you see I have already three potions, so for chamber one, two, and three. Uh, you can see, I just go with the only next stage one, because only next stage really matters. I don't think I go with agility, I think super god fill rate might be better if I actually bring in a union, for example. And Aaliyah. Can I get a fast enough Aqua ulti off? Hmm. I mean, Darkness is an ulti ready, so we have an insta damage boost. So I think I actually bring in Darkness here to insta buff my union for the big damage you know and since we bring darkness i actually think we need to go with cielo here uh, magic damage that's right let's do this yeah that's the point with leah she didn't get like, any god shop so i think i go with that one here Looks a little bit better damage perspective than last time. That heal at the beginning is kind of sad, though. I get it. The first two skills are the damage ones that are not bad. The single target here in darkness is like way better than AOE attacks here. Um, since we want to keep Union a buff HP, so she hopefully can proc the HP condition most of the time, which is should be uh, on a wrap, which should be a big damage increase. Oh, Miss of Union, huge. Two basic crits there. Another basic crit. Cielo barely hangs in there. That's 
Cute. Yeah, one more unit ulti and we should be done here. We did it! Woo! Full manual dungeon. There we go. Totally did not require any resources. So, nope, nope, nope. First try, full auto. Let's go. By the way, if you guys really need to, just reset. It doesn't hurt, okay? Just... The run to reset before the run is over. <laughs> and with one star dust, yeah, one star dust in the team, hard carry here, okay, guys? <laughs>